Díaz, Canel, Raúl Castro Luis. passing on his post as first secretary of the all-powerful Communist Party to 60-year-old President Miguel Díaz Canel, an image that is supposed to signal the end of the Castro era, although not quite. Raúl, por legitimidad. Comrade Raúl, for legitimacy and because Cuba needs him, will be consulted on the most important strategic decisions for the destiny of the nation. While billboards hailed the Communist Party as the soul of the revolution, its eighth Congress transpired behind closed doors. Cubans waited to hear if a much promised generational change would finally take place. We expect positive changes because the younger generation is more modern in accordance with our times and open to changes that we need, especially in the economy. But when the names of the new Politburo were finally announced on state media, four of the 14 members were 77 years old and the rest between 50 and 60. Fidel Castro was 33 and Raul 29 when they took power more than six decades ago. Like Raul Castro, Diaz Canel will also hold the position of president of Cuba at a challenging time when the economy is collapsing and dissent increasing. Opponent Rosa Maria Payá says the Communist Party won't change. The most part of the Cuban families are struggling in a humanitarian scale crisis and the answer of the regime has been more repression, more violence. In their case, to have the slightest opening means for them to put their absolute power at risk. And that is something that they don't want to do. Cuba's Communist Party is one of only four in the world that remains in power and describes its future as one of continuity guaranteeing that continuity with a more emboldened younger generation of Cubans may no longer be so easy. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera.